God is like. What happens to them? Well, they fall flat on their faces, right? And sometimes they stay down there for a while until an angel comes and strengthens them and says, okay, you've been down there long enough, now stand up so you can listen. This is, happens over and over and over again in the Old Testament. This happens here in the Garden of Gethsemane too. This is what's going on. The, this, this mob of soldiers, this, this group of, of uh, people determined to destroy Jesus, they come to destroy him. And Jesus shows us one time before he gives himself into their hands that he didn't have to go. It's like... The reverse of a camera shutter. A camera shutter opens just for a moment, and through that moment of light, an impression is made upon the film of what is in front of it. Jesus opened the nature of his deity to these men who came to destroy him just for a moment. He had the authority to do it, and he did it. He opened the nature of his de deity to them for just a fraction of a second, and they all fell flat on their backs. Jesus didn't have to go to the cross. Remember this, that Jesus chose to do these things, to suffer these things, because he loves and wishes to glorify the Father. And because he and the Father together, from eternity past, conspired together to make us members of their family, to make us sons and daughters of the Heavenly Father, to make us have the best big brother we could ever imagine, Jesus Christ. There's no one better, no one stronger than him. When we observe the Lord's table, these are a handful of things that we can be remembering. Thank you, Father, for what you have done for us through Christ. I pray that as we observe the Lord's table, we would remember these things. Thank you. <laughs> Words cannot express the good things that you have done for us. I pray that you'd help us to lift our hearts in worship to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let's sing in closing the final verse of Almighty Father.